In this video, I want to go through the process for adding my company as a trusted publisher in Excel. Doing so will prevent any and all macro blocks and warnings for any of the files that you download from my site or my add-in. Just to give you a little background, I had to obtain a digital certificate. The process was quite extensive. It took about two months. I had to hire an attorney to verify my business so that I could become a trusted publisher with Microsoft. So we'll jump right into the process. Unfortunately, Microsoft doesn't make it very easy to add me as a trusted publisher, so I'll walk you through all the scenarios and processes. First off is within the MFA, I'm gonna go into the tools section, and you'll see I created a file specific to this process to kind of help walk through every step. So I'll go ahead and download that file from the add-in. Okay, this file walks you through step by step what you need to do. There's a lot of steps, but it's not that difficult. Only takes about a minute or two. And we'll walk through those steps here. So first step is to recognize whether or not the macro has been blocked. And if you see this, this means the macro has been blocked. But what we need to do to unblock that is we have to do a file save as, and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and choose more options. I'm going to throw it into my downloads and save. And then always be sure to save the file type as an Excel macro enabled workbook. This is critical. Uh, failing to do this and saving it as a regular workbook will strip the macro from this file and uh, you won't be able to save me as a trusted publisher. So I'll do that. Click save. And now I will just close the file. Okay, I will go into File Explorer and I'll find the file that I just saved. I'll right click it. I'll go to Properties. And then at the very bottom, you'll see Security. And I will choose to unblock the macro. Uh, one thing to note is if you save the file and you come into the properties and you don't see the security, it means that the macro is already unblocked. Chances are you saved the file in a trusted folder and it automatically unblocked the macro for you. So if you don't see this, it's not a big deal. Click OK. And then I will open the file. OK, now that the file is open, you can see I have this security warning up here. Now there are two courses of action here. If you see this security warning, uh, the next steps are very easy. If you don't see this, I've broken out the process down below. So if you see the warning, follow these steps. If you don't see the warning, follow these steps. We'll walk through both scenarios. Uh, I'll walk through 3A right now. If you don't see the warning, skip ahead in the video. I'll put a chapter for 3B. So I, since I see the warning, I'm going to go to File. I'm going to go to Info. I'm going to click this Enable Content advanced options and you're going to see this window and this is the window we're trying to get to in order to trust all documents from this publisher so if i click ok see the macro warning goes away and now i could click this test macro macro is working and what i want to show you now that we've done that i'll go and close this file i'm going to go back to my add-in and i'm going to download the file again and this time we should not see any macro blocks or warning. There you go. The file downloaded, the macro is not blocked. There are no macro warnings. My company is now a trusted publisher on my computer. Okay, thank you for watching. If you didn't see this security warning, that's gonna be the next section of the video. If you followed the steps for unblocking the macro, and when you open the file, you did not see the security warning right here. This means that your macro settings are set to enable automatically. And we need to change those because the only way that we can add my company as a trusted publisher is to see this warning, is to make this warning visible. So I'll walk you through the steps to do that. So we'll go to File, Options at the bottom. We'll go to Trust Center, and then click Trust Center Settings. We do the macro settings, and you can see my macro settings are set to enable all VBA macros, so I don't receive that warning. 
but we need to change that to disable VBA macros with notification. And then there's one additional step we have to take. We go to trusted documents and you want to clear. You get a warning, you say yes, click OK, click OK. And now we have to close Excel for these changes to take effect. So I'm going to close. I don't care about saving. Close Excel completely. Now I'm going to go back into the file. And now you can see I've got the security warning. This is what we want. And now I could go through the process of adding the company as a trusted publisher. And I'll walk through that real quick. Just file. Info, Enable Content, and Advanced Options. And all you got to do is trust all documents from this publisher. Click OK. And now you can see Macro works. I'm going to go ahead and close this file. And one way to test this is to go into the add-in and then click Tools. Now I'm going to download the MFA as trusted publisher file. And I can see that this file opened up with no macro blocking, no macro warning. Click to test it. The macro is working fine. So now I'm confident that my company has been added as a trusted publisher. That is it. Thank you for watching.